So is there really such thing as skinny fat? There's more people that are skinny fat than there are more Billy obese people. In fact, I had a patient today. I ask always, so what do you eat? She tells me that she has macaroni and cheese. She has these breads. I just eat carbs and fats. Protein needs to be king in your diet. They have nothing really to generate a increased metabolic rate. They're relying basically, oh, I, I look good in the mirror, but again, they're not, they're not healthy. And here we have a patient <clears throat> that has something called fatty liver disease. It's completely not related to fat intake. It has more to do with high fructose intake. So are there different ways that we can kind of scan and see how much visceral fat or body fat we have? Well, if we can do our in-body exam, it tells us the percent body fat you have, it tells us also the percent skeletal muscle you have, it tells us how visceral fat you have. Also, we have DEXA scans available to us, CAT scan or MRI. And is fatty liver something that's reversible or is that something that we're kind of stuck with? So if we catch this early enough, definitely through intervention and nutrition, we can definitely reverse it. And is there certain age groups or certain ages that we should be testing? We only used to see fatty liver disease in alcoholics. And now as young as five years of age, we're seeing fatty liver disease. And it's due to such a large amount of like fructose in our juices and our Coca-Cola and so many different things that they put this into that we're seeing such a rise in fatty liver disease.